It's Rosio River Rock. I'm here at Middle Harbor Shoreline Park, and today we're going to be exploring the mud flats. Let's go! Hi there, it's Rosio River Rock again, and here we have a large piece of granite rock that was taken high from the mountains in California. You can see here some drill canals of how they extracted the huge piece of granite from the mountain. If you get a little closer, you can also see some of the minerals that make up this granite piece. Hmm. There are three main minerals that make up this granite rock. Feldspar, mica, and quartz. You can see some of its sparkly flecks here in the rock. Now, pieces of this rock may break off due to weathering. That's wind, rain, snow, that break it up into smaller pieces and they eventually go into a stream and head down the mountain. Here we are at the mud flats and you can see it's currently low tide, which exposes the mud flats for shorebirds to come and feast on all the tiny creatures that live in the mud. The mud flats are homes to all different types of life, especially invertebrates, which birds love to feast on. As you can see here, these are different shorebirds with beaks that have evolved to eat different types of critters from the mud. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the mud with this tool, a benthic grabber. This tool helps us grab samples of the mud down at the bottom of we pull it up and we explore what we find. All right, let's take a sample of the bay mud. Our benthic grab that we performed, we pulled up some clay from the bottom of the bay. Clay is the smallest form of sediments and it's nutrient rich. Smells nice, feels very smooth, and I can see that there's lots of evidence of life from that small sample that we brought up. Wow, look at this. Found fragments of a shell. Oh, and it looks like a cracked mussel shell here. And it also looks like pieces of barnacles. Wow, this mud is so soft. I found a bay mussel here in the mud. And a cool fact about mussels is they have bissel threads that's very strong that helps them latch onto a surface. And if you've ever gone diving for mussels, you'll find that it's very tough to scrape them off of a rock that they've latched onto. Getting closer to the mud, I already noticed so many signs of life. I see mussels, barnacles, sea lettuce, and a carapace, an exoskeleton of a crab. I'm noticing that there are some barnacles that are alive and dead here on the steps. When the tide is high and the water is up, the barnacles open a latch and allow their fiber-like hairs to come out and sweep the water to look for plankton. And then they close up when the water recedes. Barnacles live on many different substrates. Boats, rocks, and even large animals like gray whales. We encourage you to come down to Middle Harbor Shoreline Park, bring a bucket so that you can have your own special scavenger hunt to see what kind of cool things you find here on the shoreline. We hope you explore our shoreline and take a look at the mud flats to see what you find. Wow, I'm already 
finding such cool items here on the shoreline. We found a mussel shell, some barnacles, and some sea lettuce. Oh, look at this! And the crab claw. I'm going to add that to my scavenger bucket. Also, while you're exploring, you might, may find some dangerous objects. If you find dangerous sharp objects on the shoreline, just leave them there. Once you find an object that you're really interested in, pull out your journal and draw it out. Make some detailed observations, like what do you notice? What does it feel like? What do you wonder about your item? I'm going to draw my crab claw. This is pretty cool.